from the Metropolitan Opera Guild. Education at the Met presents Giacomo Puccini's one-act opera, Johnny Skiki, performed in English. In our cast, in order of appearance, are Gerardino, the Italian-American boy who visits his relatives in Florence. Buozo Donati, the rich real estate developer who leaves all of his money to the church. Zita, the cousin of Buozo Donati, the greedy matriarch of the family. Simone, the senior member of the Donati family, who just can't take charge. Renuccio, the love-struck boyfriend of Lauretta, who needs permission from Zita to marry. La Cesca, witty and cunning, Cesca wants her part of Buozo's will, an accomplice to the crime. Marco, always crying because he was left out of the will. He wants his piece of the pie. Nella, Gerardino's mother from Brooklyn, very chic. Gerardo, Nella's husband, Gerardino's father, visiting Italy and looking for his share. Beto, none too bright, but very concerned about his inheritance and his cigar. And, of course, Gianni Schicchi, a con man and the father of Lauretta in search of a dowry so she can marry. Lauretta, the daughter of Gianni Schicchi and Renuccio's girlfriend. Master Spinellocho, Buozo's not-too-observant doctor, and the lawyer who unknowingly arranges for a new will for a dead man. My full name is Gerardino Donati. That's because I'm Italian, but I was born in Brooklyn. The rest of my family comes from Italy. Most of them are still there. Like him. He's Bozo Donati, head of the family. Also the richest. Made it big in real estate, especially around Florence, his hometown. sick a lot. <laughs> he just got a bunch of new pills. They're supposed to cure him. The rest of my family can't wait until he croaks because they want to inherit all of his property. Probably when Obozo kicks off, they'll ring the church bells for him. about people from Florence. They love that city, sort of like New Yorkers, but worse. For a lot of them, they are rather die than leave. They're funny like that. They have a lot of strange customs, too. Like for certain crimes, they cut off your fingers.
any part of all his money. And we all become immensely wealthy. You won't try to prevent it any longer. You will give your consent for me to marry my Lauren to the daughter of Dundee Sneaky. For nothing else on earth could make me happier than if I knew that soon we would be married. Of course, of course, of course. We will talk about it later. I want your promise we can soon be married. Come, let us have the paper. You carry on like that, we're all the very neighbors! Ah! <laughs> and if I find everything in order, Mary, will you please? I'm really quite indifferent. Oh, my heart would always bring me tidings. I'm almost certain you left me something. Hurry to Dundee Street to tell him to come at once and to bring Lauretta. I'll do it for you all or need assistance. These points will come in handy. See if you'll find some handy. Open the 
possible. To exchange it. Rearrange it. To exchange it. Oh, Simon Head. Simon Head. You are the oldest. And you also want the mayor of Uchekio. One man alone I know of who might help, who advise us, perhaps even save us. Who? Oh. Janiski! <laughs> if Janiski or his daughter is ever mentioned to me again, will you be sorry? Kiss on the side. Janiski! Who could have called him? I wanted Kiki to come and help us. If Kiki was ever a little bit of 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 Mistaken. He's clever and cunning. Knows all the tricks of the trade and prove his own. He's nobody's fool. Sly as a big and sharp as a needle. And should anyone have a special problem, then Janiski he will find the answer. When his eyes are illumined like a cat's in a gloomy corner, and his face gets a crooked little smile, then we know that he is ready for a prank. Where does he come from? Why bother? Does it matter? Why must your silly pride ruin our chances? Now Florence is a proud and ancient city Her influence and beauty are unequaled Marshalling all her vigor and authority Showing the world her power and her splendor Though the country has many lovely cities
picture of sorrow and desolation. Daretta, Marino. Oh, Donna, his health must be improving. Oh, my beloved. But what is wrong with you? <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, Laretina, what a misfortune! What a misfortune! <laughs> He's left us, but I wonder why they're mourning. I've never seen bereavement better acted. Ah, I know that your grief must be unbearable. me deeply. Yes, our loss has completely overwhelmed us. Yes, it must have. But it, it can't be helped. It's common knowledge what you lose on the one hand, you gain on the other. The loss of woes means money in the bank. Exactly, for the purchase! Oh, I understand now. It's not just the years, it's not the moving. I want to go to the table. So take your little daughter, and leave us all forever. I will never get them to you, but I'll be done. I know I love her. My family is a bride. Bravo, woman, brava! For a dowry you sacrifice my daughter and your nephew. Bravo, woman, brava! You are a rich
on the terrace. Why not go and feed the little birdie? Alone? Outside of us, who knows about Donard? Oh, oh, no one. one. Perfect. Be careful that no one even suspects it. They'll never know a thing. No one but us has entered since he became unconscious. Now you remove the wheelchair and take the body over there to the room across the hallway. Ladies, take off his clothing. What? Do what I tell you! Until this 
I sound like Donati. You are perfect. <laughs> then we've done it. We've done it. Surely you see it. No. Oh, you are idiots. Oh, the lawyer. This must be lawyer. Come to Bordeaux, oh, Donati. He's certain he is dying and wants to see his lawyer. And don't forget to bring the legal papers. If you don't hurry, it will all be over. And then the lawyer comes here, enters. The room is dimly lighted. There before him in the bed. Close lies goes Donati. His head underneath a night cap. His face covered up by black hats under the night. Cap between the blankets, a nose looking exactly like was Donati's, but instead of Ozo, it is I, I, John Liskey, who imitate his voice and pretend to be old. <laughs> and write another testament to suit you. You'll say this is a master of creation. You must admit it is simply in For us, the house is a queen to reign. Oh, no, 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 Jackio's mayor, you want them to be mine. I thank you kindly. <laughs> Ah! 
To get the mansion, the summers and the bush, we get 200 G's. Don't worry. Johnny, if you will leave me this mansion, the portion of the sawmills at Senior, I'll make you the richest man in Italy. Don't worry. <laughs>
Let us contemplate Florence. from which you suffer. One for 
Tell me, ladies and gentlemen, could anyone imagine a better use for old Wozo's money than as my daughter's dowry? 
for the trick I have played. These good people would gladly see me roast in Dante's Inferno. But, with all due respect to the great master, there were certain extenuating circumstances. If you agree, I'm sure you will return a verdict of not guilty. the men who helped to build our city. 